All right. Um, greetings to the global house of the incredible world coin, Milunias. Welcome once again to today's edition of the Google meeting. I want to specially appreciate everyone for uh, coming in at this moment. Uh, some people have left the meeting because uh, maybe because of the connectivity. I was also out for a moment, but um, I am back. I want to sincerely appreciate us all for another uh, golden opportunity and also for each and every one of us being alive to witness another edition of today's uh, migration meeting. And I also want to thank all our leaders and I also want to appreciate our efforts uh, putting all the resources and our strength, efforts, and also uh, every aspect to ensuring that we achieve success. Kudos to all our coordinators who are busy, uh, especially in the migration aspect. We are achieving success on a daily basis. Uh, at least migrations are flowing in and uh it's a good report right now that uh people are responding to the entire details and also the entire aspects when it comes to the issue of migration and i want to thank the entire house for uh making it also to be able to uh get into our respective or various accounts navigate through and uh uh, also get our wallet address yes uh, and so today we are going to be focusing on a lot as the migration process is already ongoing we all know that as it is as it stands right now we are at the verge of having the exchange open any moment as soon as we get the required numbers and so the exchange has been fully ready, running and waiting for us as a community to be able to come together, have all the coins that are needed for sale so that buyers will buy off the entire coins from those of us who are willing to sell. And those of us also who are going to take advantage of the trading instruments the trading activities that will be happening live on the incredible exchange, you can also have the opportunity to make more money via the incredible exchange. And so all it requires is that um, we all need to unite. We all need to have all our users or the people that we brought into IWC ensure that we have them migrated into the exchange so that they can be able to also participate in the entire process. Uh, on Wednesday, we had a leadership meeting, even though uh, uh, a few leaders uh, were in attendance uh, and so many other people were absent. And so we were able to brainstorm and also look at the entire aspects when it comes to the issue of uh, what is happening around the world today. Uh, and so we all know that recession is hitting hard uh, on the global economy. The traditional financial system is gradually failing. And so we are moving fully into blockchain technology. We are moving into the fourth industrial revolution and so many countries around the world today are holding summits, are holding seminars and different orientations uh, concerning uh, the blockchain technology and also the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, last, uh, in our previous meeting, I was able to state some key aspects and also some key points that we as a community need to take note of and so as we are going 
uh, on a speed lane when it comes to the issue of technology, a lot of things are happening. So many things are going on at the moment of which many of us are not taking note of most of these happenings. And we are looking at things unfolding and we are taking it for granted. Uh, so today I would like to uh, uh, bring to our notice, especially most of us who are not so very conversant with what is happening around the world, and also regarding the incredible world coin, the vision and mission of the incredible world coin, and also what this particular uh, coin is set to do in times of giving us an entire opportunity to participate in building our our self-reliance economy and also building a financial future even for the next generations even yet unborn uh, and so we when you look at what is happening today uh, i was able to educate and also tell our leaders on wednesday during the leadership meeting how that the entire financial system is shaking uh new york new york times reviews a uh, new york times newspaper that was last week wednesday reveals that the international monitoring fund which is imf is currently calling for a global financial resolution seeking to introduce digital financial economy with the help of empower with the help of blockchain technology and so i gave a scenario wherein we are seeing a collapse happening right before our eyes and so those of us who do not understand the kind of collapse that i am talking about a uh, few of us especially those of us from the region of nigeria we will understand clearly what happened in a few months ago uh, it is now that things are beginning to relax and so uh, there was an experience for Nigerians beginning from the first or second week of January in the year 2023, uh, all the way until towards the end of March. Now, what was that? What was the experience? The experience was that people were not able to gain access to their money based on the dangerous policies that were enacted by the central banks. These dangerous policies does not favor the common people, does not favor you and I who are working hard, who are striving to become financially independent. And so you will begin to see these frameworks coming up all around Africa trying to implement what is not yet uh, you know implementable and so we have seen what happened people were losing their monies banks were looting people's money and debiting people's money without any other tangible you know excuse or reason why people were losing their monies and it also interests you to know that we have banks that have totally collapsed, even in the United States of America. I gave us an example of two major banks that have completely shut down in the United States. We talked about how the Signature Bank in America collapsed and also Silicon Valley Bank collapsed. People lost billions or millions of dollars millions of bonds and also assets in those banks and so when you go on the internet you will see a lot of videos and tutorials people now are beginning to run into blockchain technology save all their money into blockchain into cryptocurrencies because when you keep your money in the cryptocurrency space it is not only going to remain the way it is or safe, it is also going to accumulate and appreciate in value. But when you keep your money in the bank, you have given the bank an opportunity to enrich themselves. And if eventually they 
to hold your money or deduct money or, or, or on regular basis for no reasons, when you get to the bank to complain, there is nothing that will be done. Why? Because the system or the dangerous policies that were laid down gave them that opportunity to steal from your funds and nothing will happen. And so when you look at the collapse happening right now or the global meltdown that is happening, this was the same experience back in the year 2008 that gave birth to the cryptocurrency era and also revolution in the year 2009 with Bitcoin introducing a white paper all over the internet, introducing a new class of asset, a new digital instrument that has the opportunity to address inequality, that has the opportunity to address poverty, and we are in that era. And so I came across conversations on our social media platforms where people are saying, IWC said they are they are going to people are going to be able to withdraw within so so, so period between 2021. IWC said in the year 2022, people are going to be able to gain access to their money. And the answer is did IWC deliver to their promise? Now, one of the questions I would like us to ask ourselves, was the exchange delivered in 2022 or in 2023? That is one. So when IWC went live, when we launched back then in June of 2021 going to 2022, Incredible World Coin was live. It was listed on other exchanges. But why a lot of our users were not able to trade is because of the complications of having to connect Metamax wallet all the way and also trying to do the function, the, 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 the technicalities before you can be able to move your coins from the ICO and be able to withdraw and make transactions were so complicated. And that was how many of our users, even if you are able to connect your Metamax, how many people will be able to trade on other exchanges? And so IWC, based on the roadmap, delivered the exchange even ahead of the stipulated period because the exchange was supposed to be launched in the year 2024 and the exchange suffices in the year 2022 and so right now beginning from november of 2022 28 days in the month of november last year the exchange went live if had iwc members migrate into the exchange two or three or five days after that launch when the exchange went live everything the trade trades would have been going on in the exchange very smoothly at this moment so we wouldn't be here talking about withdrawals we wouldn't be here talking about trading we wouldn't be here talking about transactions because transactions would have been running smoothly on the exchange and so currently at the moment, beginning from November 28th up till date, the exchange has been running very smoothly. So what is left now is how many users do we have in the exchange for trading to begin? And so the exchange is a marketplace where all of us can be able to buy and sell and do other transactional activities. And so I am still calling on our leaders and every other individual who is a holder of Incredible World Coin. Everyone is an ambassador for IWC. Ensure that you discharge your responsibility, discharge that particular uh, 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 responsibility that you have with the knowledge that has been disseminated 
from these particular updates on a regular basis and go out there, inform other people so that they can have themselves migrated in order for us to begin. Once we have that 55,000 users by tomorrow, the exchange opens. We have had numerous exchanges long before IWC existed. When we talk about Binance, we talk about other exchanges. Go and do your research. How many users were there in, on the Binance exchange before Binance opened their trades? We have other new exchanges that came up with between 2021 and 2022. We have SuperX exchange. We have other exchanges like KuCoin. We have so many crypto exchanges today. Find out yourself. How many people were there on those exchanges before they are begin to, they, before trading activities begins? And so if Binance requires over two to three million users, we were here, all of us were around when the developer came up and gave us the entire statistics. And we have proceeded on the international stage to make a lot of bragging that in Africa, we are going to become the first. We are going to be in the forefront. As a matter of fact, I was anticipating and hoping that this exchange would open in the month of December, last, uh, last December, because of the constant pressure coming out from the community in Africa. When are we going to start trading? When is this going to happen? When are we going to withdraw? Now the exchange is open. How many people are already migrated into the exchange? And so this is the question that I want each and every one of us to answer. And so you in your region, if you want to withdraw your money, I, am, I have already migrated. I happen to be one of the first people who have mi who migrated their coins. The other directors and other leaders in Africa, we all migrated. We are waiting for you to migrate. We are waiting for every other user who who is yet to migrate into the exchange to migrate. All we need is 55,000 users. In one country, we have more than 100,000 users in the incredible world coin. And so each and every one of us is an ambassador of IWC. Let's go out there and educate and also inform other people. Any, anyone who participated during the ICO, we have started this season of withdrawals already began since November of 2022, not even 2023. Why? Because the exchange is fully ready. You can add any other payment gateway. You can trade, you can swap your coins and withdraw either via directly using the P2P trading directly into your local bank account or using your PayPal or using your credit card or using mobile money. And so, and these particular features are available in all the African countries. So all that is needed is our cooperation to migrate into the exchange and the exchange opens. And so I am using this opportunity, urging all of us as leaders, whether you like it or not, the future is here. Countries now are beginning to wake up to the reality, to the existent reality about fi uh, digital finances. Why? Because in few, now, in few years from now, there are a lot of countries that will not be printing paper money any longer. We are going into full digitization. Blockchain is the order of the day. And so countries and governments are also beginning to train individuals and also people into this particular field. I am encouraging everyone to also dive a little bit deeper into research so that you can get more enlightenment about what we are saying. The whole global financial economy is shaking. We are experiencing another 
a recession around the world, just like what happened back in the year 2008, that gave birth to this industry. And so anyone who is left behind and you are part of IWC, you were left behind not because of ignorance. You purposely desire and also decided to be left behind. And so let us all become ambassadors for IWC and also inform other users who are yet who are yet to get to know about this particular uh, uh, process. Let them have themselves migrated into the exchange and straight away we begin to trade. Uh, and so I want to appreciate all of us and I also want to thank us for uh, all uh, the patient and also the resilient and uh, all that we have achieved so far. Uh, we have our our able uh, director for administration in the house. You can unmute your mic and come in briefly before I share my screen. Uh, director Richard B. Telewayam Jr. Uh, from Liberia. Mr. Richard, if you can hear me, you can come in. You can unmute your mic now before we take some questions. Yeah, good evening to the house and good evening to everyone. Um, I'd just like to say thank you to the entire community for even though we've got much to do and more to do, but I always say thank you for everything and also thank you to our hard working team for working so hard behind the scene to make sure that things goes right the way it should be. And my chief has already said odd and there's not much to be said. So that much that I do, um, we could just go straight into the next presentation, sir. All right. Thank you so much. Um, Reverend Achike George, uh, it is not yet time, uh, but let me just take uh, uh, what may be your question or your comment. You can unmute your mic, uh, Miss uh, Reverend Achike George from Liberia. You can unmute your mic and come in very briefly. Good afternoon to everybody. Good evening to everybody. Yes, good evening. You're welcome, sir. Well, thank you very much for permitting me at this. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for permitting me to come on this platform and express thank and appreciation to everyone. Uh, the people of Grand County is not, is not, is not. I want to ask this question. Migration, migration, how long will migration take for the for more than one million people in Grand Liberia to migrate, huh? are you getting me? Yes. Uh, you said. Um, the network, the network is bad. You said how long will it take for what? The migration period. How long will it take? Okay, how long will it take for people in Liberia to migrate? Is that your question? Uh, maybe you could write on the comment section. Uh, if I understood you, it is not half or, or period. Every movement we uh, are WC has a period. Yes. So I want to know the people. Of, of migration, don't we? Migration take. Okay. Um. I, I would allow the, the director for administration to respond to you. Uh, Mr. Richard, you can respond to that question. How long will it take for the migration to come to an end? In that way. In that way. Yeah, Mr. Judge. Yes. Yeah, you, you are asking how long will the migration process take, right? Yes. It will take as long as 
all of us will delay to do our migrations. So, for instance, if um, you are in Liberia, right? If Liberia yeah, does yeah. not do, if Liberia refuses to migrate until the day Jesus Christ comes back, that means the migration will be pending until time. So that's why my chief said, all of us have a stake. All of us have a role to play. So if we want to have our exchange open, all of us will have to go live to talk to people to make sure that we'll be able to meet the amount of users we need to open the exchange trading. For sure, we cannot and will not open the exchange for trading with just a thousand users or just one thousand users or two persons or three persons. No, we're not going to do that. The exchange needs about 55,000 people before the trading officially goes live. You can see most other features on the exchange has already opened. They are they are live, they have been unlocked. So for the trading aspect, it depends on how fast we ourselves do the migration. The migration is not resting on the leadership's head. It is not on the executive director, neither the, 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 the developers. No, they us ourselves, we the subscribers. If we refuse to migrate ourselves, then that means we ourselves will delay the process for our lives. That's what it is. If we want to cut our migration process very short, let us tell our people to migrate. If everyone can get themselves migrated or if we can meet the targeted amount of people by tomorrow morning, that means our migration will be completed by tomorrow morning. Those who want to wait until Jesus Christ come back before they migrate, they can wait until that time. But for us, we have already done our migration and we need to tell other people to do their migration so we can be able to reach the 5,000 benchmark that we're looking at. Is that clear? Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Tere William, the Administrator for RWC. I think uh, I have withdrawn all of those sales from the and uh, people in Grand Basel County now, they are yearning to migrate. So tomorrow, uh, Sunday is a very mass meeting, very mass meeting. And you will see plenty of people who will be migrating next week from Grand Basel County. Thank you very much. All right, okay. thank you Welcome, so much. Sir. Back to you, Chief. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, uh you you will help me to answer some okay so another person is uh i'm because i'm trying to Mr. Darada. yes okay yes I, I i'm here thank you so much for that uh, uh response uh mr fred uh is raising up his hand yes mr fred you can unmute your mic and come in very quickly Mr. Fred, if you can hear me, unmute your mic. Okay, Mr. Fred is uh, uh, not hearing. Uh, so yes, like um, the director of administration has clearly stated, uh, at the moment we are we are currently waiting for the the fifty five thousand users to migrate into the exchange and then we can have the exchange set and also ready open for migration. Uh, and so the faster we want the exchange to open, the faster we get our people migrated into the exchange so that the trading activities can begin. Uh, and so uh, if uh, that as or well, that that is clearly uh, uh, answered. I will proceed. I actually uh, would have loved to make some demonstrations. Uh, we have had we had some people complaining about the issue of uh, wallet address. Uh, some people are complaining that they cannot uh, be able to uh, migrate uh, or they don't know how to get their wallet address. And so uh, I want to be able to get into uh, uh, an account so that I can be able to show us one or two aspects by sharing my screen from the exchange because we are finding it difficult. Uh, we have a lot of people 
finding it difficult to be able to set up their account, get their wallet address, and also uh, complete their migration process. Uh, it's as simple as ABC. We already have those uh, people who already have done their migration within few uh, uh, hours. It is completed. And so those of us who are finding it difficult to uh, get through the entire process, I am going to do another demonstration again. But before any other demonstration, we've already have done the video tutorials on how you can be able to uh, navigate and also get your wallet address and have your entire details fully migrated into the exchange. So for those of us who are still behind, finding it difficult to do that, you can, you can quickly click on that very link that uh, I posted for the, uh, the migration tutorial, how you can be able to sign up on the exchange, how you can also set up your two-factor authentication. Those of us who are not on Telegram, there are some videos that uh, YouTube actually took down. Uh, and so those of us who are not on Telegram, do as try as much as possible to register on Telegram because via Telegram, any video that cannot be posted on YouTube, no matter how long it is, you can share it on Telegram because Facebook or you, uh, uh, WhatsApp can, has, a, has a, a certain megabyte that they can be able to share. And so only Telegram can share long uh, video tutorials. And so I am encouraging those of us who are not on Telegram, do me a favor by downloading the Telegram app and also join our official Telegram group chat. I will be sharing the links for our Telegram official group chat so that any kind of video that uh, will not be uh, posted on WhatsApp, you will get it via the official Telegram group chat. Uh, and so I, I would like us to uh, work together in that aspect so that we can achieve uh, success we don't want a situation whereby we will have a lot of people complaining and saying, taking us back and forth, taking us back and forth is not uh, uh, good at all because you are hindering our progress. And so I'm going to share my screen now so that I will show us uh, some areas to navigate on the exchange and also how you can be able to uh, view some of the aspects and also set up your account by adding your payment gateways and what have you. And so uh, initially we talked about how you can set up your account. So after you, may, after you have created your wallet on the exchange, that is your account. And the reason why you are creating this account on the exchange is such that many of us during the ICO, there are other people who created our account, created from our email, and also created our password, and created all our details, and did everything for us. And so certainly, some people have access to your privacy, to your login details. Some of the coordinators who are able to help other people who cannot be able to help themselves already have access to your account. And so in when it comes to the issue of the exchange, you are expected to single-handedly operate your private uh, details and also have those private details on your exchange independently and also by yourself without anybody having to gain access to those particular informations, except for those who are who you have given authority as, an, as administrators to probably help you in the process. And so even anybody, even if anybody is helping you in the process, the person cannot be able to make any transaction on your account without your permission. 
because I made mention of three different security features. So right now we only have your, your own password and your two-factor authentication to log in. But when trading begins, there are three different major confirmations that you must do before withdrawing any penny or before even transacting on your account. You will have to make your uh, SMS authenticator, Gmail authenticator, and also two-factor authentication. These are three top security layers on any legitimate exchange that is functional. And so all of these particular security features are on the Incredible World coin. And so you are going to experience that during the transaction or the withdrawals or the P2P and what have you. Because right now you only have two. And so a time will come that whenever you want to withdraw coins, you will have to receive an email to authenticate. You have to receive an authentication via your, your phone number. You also have to receive, a, you also have to provide an, a Google authenticator before any transaction can go through. And so if you can see my screen now, I'm going straight to the wallet. And so we have home, we have profile, we also have payment. But I will begin with the wallet before coming back to the payment. And so here via the wallet, there are a lot of people who are making mistakes. Mistakes by sending a different wallet address. And so I stated it very clearly by telling you the last time that if you have no business with other cryptocurrencies for now, do not add any other wallet address. Here we have, we ha I have added Binance and Incredible World Coin, for example. And so if, uh, but I have no business with Binance, except if I want to transfer some BNB from anywhere else into my IWC wallet, that is when I should add BNB, except if I have any business receiving or I want to save or keep my Bitcoin or my Ethereum or my Binance in the Incredible World Coin wallet. Otherwise, you have no business adding any wallet. Just add Incredible World Coin. Why am I saying this is because some people will add their wallet address like this. And then at the end of the day, if you are required to copy a wallet address for Incredible World Coin, and you happen to come into your account like this after you may have added multiple wallet address. And so some people all, all, uh, all, always go straight to receive. Remember here, if you have more than one wallet, this is Binance. And so if you ask, uh, as it is right now on send, it is on Binance. You are not yet on IWC, Incredible World Coin. And so some people are making this mistake. They don't take note of the wallet or the cryptocurrency that is here. They only go straight and click on receive and then copy any wallet address. This wallet address is for Binance. And so if Incredible World Coin is mistakenly sent into this wallet address, those coins are lost. You can never recover those coins. <clears throat> I am making this emphasis right now because we will have a lot of people coming back crying or making a lot of complaints how they have sent coins to a particular wallet and they cannot see it. You will never see those coins and those coins are gone forever. And so if you want to transfer or send or receive IWC in your wallet, you will have to come to this option and select IWC. So when you select Incredible World Coin, automatically the wallet address for Incredible World Coin will appear right here. And so you can see the wallet address for Incredible World Coin is zero, uh, 0x3. And so if you select Binance, 
you discover that Binance is 0x6. So you can see the wallet address even be, with, the, uh, with the characters, the, the far, four to six beginning of the characters are not the same. So uh, Binance wallet is different from that of the Incredible World Coin wallet address. So you can see the wallet address has changed. So you must ensure that it is Incredible World Coin wallet displaying here when you click on receive before you can either scan or before you can copy the wallet address and forward to the admin. This is very important. We have a lot of people making this mistake. And so this is the second time I am making a presentation on this particular aspect. And so those of us who are administrators helping other people to do their migration, I want us to take note of this particular aspect so that we will not be making these mistakes. And at the end of the day, when you make such mistake and run back to me, there is nothing I can do to help you. Your coins are gone for good. And so let us take note. When it comes to blockchain transactions, if you mistakenly use any wrong wallet address, and you send coins to that wrong wrong wallet address you cannot retrieve those coins they are lost in the blockchain nobody can use them nobody can have access to those coins so those people who are already crypto gurus you will you already will attest to what i am saying and so let us take note of this particular aspect and then secondly for those of us who want to add uh, 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 if you want to add more cryptocurrencies, all you need to do is to simply come to add and then click here. You will see other <clears throat> cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin is here, Ethereum, Dashcoin, SafeMoon, and what have you. Uh, and so you can also add via this particular button. And then also you can come here on this section. This is another section where the already added cryptocurrencies or wallets that you have in your account. You can either see them here, you can change them from here, or you can go down to the transaction button and also do the adjustment by changing the wallet as well over here. And so coming to the issue of payments. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when we come to the issue of payments, this is where you are going to add your payment gateways. And so uh, currently uh, you cannot add your credit card because it's still pending until when transaction begins. Uh, but you can add your local bank account. You can also add your payment uh, for I to enable you deposit. You remember this is an exchange. You can also trade your local currency on this exchange. You can trade US dollars. You can trade cryptocurrency as well. And so this is part of the, the withdrawal and deposit section where you can either deposit or withdraw. Uh, and so uh, I have done these demonstrations. I think this is the third time right now. So withdrawal here, as you can see here, are the two payment gateways. I have my bank account added. I also have my mobile money details here added. Uh, and so you can also uh, make payments either using PayPal or, or gift cards. So whichever one that you want to add, uh, you can add those details if you have them already. Uh, and so coming to the issue of withdrawals or adding any other payment gateway, what you will need to do is to click on edit. So when you click on edit, it will take you to the place where you already have other payment gateways added. And if you are yet to add uh, payment gateways, uh, what you will do is you can click on add here. As you can see, I have a payment gateway here. I have my bank account details and i also have 
my mobile money details on this section. I have Loonstar. I already had my Orange, both Loonstar and Orange as my payment gateway, which is a, a mobile money option. And this is the bank account option. So uh, people who are trading from my region or my country or people who desire to purchase or do a P2P transaction with you, you can decide to make a stipulation of whether or not this is how I want my payment gateway to, how I want to receive my coins. And so by click, uh, simply adding, clicking on the plus, this gives you the opportunity to add any of these payment gateways that you have available. So without any restrictions, all you will need to do here when you come here, you click on orders. So here you can stipulate either you want to add your bank account or you want to add your mobile money. For example, let's assume that I want to add um, UBA. So let's assume I want to add another payment gateway, the third payment gateway, which is UBA Bank, for example. And then already, as soon as I enter the name of the bank, my name is already here by default. And so let's assume my account number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is my account number. And so here is where you can state or maybe write a note stipulation, but it is people who are trading with you that will see your terms and conditions here. Uh, you can decide to stipulate, uh, make payment via, you can make payment on both my bank account or mobile money, mobile money details, both my bank accounts or my mobile mobile money details. So stating these stipulations, anyone who is <clears throat> who, who is taking your trade, already this will appear on their side. They will see your stipulation. And so uh, once trading opens, our social media section will also be open where you can chat real life with buyers or with people who wants to buy uh, from you. So you will be able to chat with the between the buyer and the seller, and you can also follow each other by creating a social media uh, a friendship via the exchange with your buyers and also with other traders. And so after stipulating these particular um, terms and conditions, you can add any other one. You can decide to indicate that if buyers are paying to your bank account, they should not add any cryptocurrency descriptions when making payment. So whatever stipulation you want to add there, you can indicate that on the, on the note that you are writing. And then next, this is where a lot of people get problems. They said before they, as they will come here and click submit and it will not. Why? Because you will need to add your two factor authenticator before having these details added on your payment gateway and so i am going back to my two-factor authenticator now to get the valid authentication okay zero six eight nine four nine so this is the valid one within 30 seconds and then you click submit and so once the two-factor authenticator is valid already as you can see i have three different payment gateways and so this is the maximum payment gateways that you can add uh, on your payment section. And so if you add another one, buyers will not see. They can only see these three different options. So I have added the first one, the second one, or the third one. And so if you want to change any of these, you can delete one and edit or change to whatever payment gateway that you want to receive your payment. And so, so anybody that is buying using the p2p trade like i stated again taking your order they will see the three different payment gateways on their side and so they can decide to take 
whichever one is suitable for them and straight away they can make payment to you and you receive your money via your local uh, means of receiving payment and so that's as simple as that and so this has been a challenge how you can add your bank details and also how you can get the incredible wallet address to complete your migration process uh, and so this is basically what so many people have been asking so this is the second time i'm doing this demonstration so i strongly believe that we have now clearly understood how the entire aspect works <clears throat> excuse me so i will go back now to the comment sections uh, and so if you have any contribution or comment i will uh, appreciate if you can indicate by raising up your hands uh, so that you can have the opportunity to ask your questions if there is anything that is stated here that you do not understand so that you can be clarified yes mohammed you can you can unmute your mic mohammed ibrahim you can unmute your mic and come in what is your question Hello. Yes, what is your question, Mr. Muhammad? Good evening. Good evening. Yes, what is your question, Mr. Muhammad? Yeah, Muhammad, yeah, I have some problems. All these videos uh, uh, you show now, I've already read. But my point is to show by himself. So, uh, uh, I can't hear you very clearly, Mr. Mohammed. So if you are already done with the process, I don't think there is any reason for you raising up your hand again. And so let me take Mr. Onye Mara. Uh, you are raising up your hand. Can you unmute your mic very quickly and come in? Everything clearly. But how can I cannot look into exchange? That is, my, that is the problem now. I don't know what. I don't know how to. Hello, right. good evening, Chair. Yes, good evening. You are welcome. And good evening, how? Yes, what is your uh, question? Please, uh, my, 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 my password and ICO. <laughs> Kindly speak up because I cannot user. hear you. Okay. Sir, uh, can I change my password in uh, my password in uh, Hello? Hello? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, proceed. I can hear you. Okay, it looks like um, there is a bridge. The network is a bit bad. Uh, and so, if you can hear me, Mr. Onyema. Um, it looks like uh, the network is seriously fluctuating and uh, uh, we cannot hear your comments, uh, but I would appreciate if you can drop your comments on the comment section so that I can read it out and uh, be able to respond to those comments because of the internet connectivity issues. Yes, can you hear me? Those of us who are still in the house, can can you hear me?
Yes, I can hear you, sir. All right. Okay, thank you very much. It looks like the other people who are trying to come yeah, in yeah. Are, are having okay, some, yeah, some connectivity issues. Uh, and so I would appreciate if you can give us your comment. Uh, it is currently raining at the moment. That is why uh, the network is uh, fluctuating. And so basically that is uh, the the simple description and also a, a little demonstration of practicals that uh, we needed to have respond and also answer from those of us who have been asking. So I believe I have done justice to this particular aspect. And so I am expecting all our leaders to do us a favor by making sure that they submit the right details when completing the migration process so that they can be able to uh, have the coins that are allocated for them uh, straight into their wallet yeah. without any hesitation. Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Kure, you, your, your mic is unmuted. Uh, there is a noise coming out from your background. Uh, and so that's basically that. Uh, and so uh, there are no any other hands raised up. Uh, I think so far we have lost so many other people due to due to the network uh, connectivity and also the bad weather. Even in my side, it's currently raining heavily. Uh, and so, but um, we are grateful for the progress made uh, so far. Uh, Mr. Raymond Ezekiel. You people have not started migrating your humanitarian uh, people. What is going on uh, on your end, Mr. Raymond? You can unmute your mic and give us an update. Uh, it has been quite some time. You yeah. have not been active. You are not yet active on the migration aspect. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, thank you very much sir, for giving me this opportunity to talk. Uh, I really want to appreciate all your efforts, and I believe this effort will never go in vain. Yes. Uh, apart from that, that, you know, what I'm waiting for is a, is a very, very, very important, what I'm waiting for right now. So I want to, the other time I, I spoke, or rather I talked on the election stuff, thank God the election has come and gone, and by the grace of God, the humanitarian that we were under her, she has won her election by the grace of God. Oh wow! Glory be to God. Yes. That's, that's, so uh, the next now, the, the, the yeah, that's good news. The, the, the next thing is that by next week they are going to you know they have to choose on the different material uh, uh, candidates. So I think they are, they are going to be done by next week. And by the grace of God, as I said, I'm not going, I'm not relenting my effort at all. I will make sure that I migrate more than two hundred people. That one, that that one is the problem. All more right. than 200 people, I will do that. So I'm, okay. waiting, yes, I'm waiting for next by the time we finish, then I will now swing into action, sir. Definitely, I, I, I won't let this thing go. It's not possible. I will make sure that I migrate more than 200. All right. Thank you so much. We appreciate that effort. And uh, uh, but, I but, want but, you to. But, sorry, sir. Yes. That, sorry, sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. now, I've started making some mobilization now. Talking to people, they say they are waiting for me, blah, 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 and all that. I say, okay, no, no problem. By next week, I will start the whole thing. Everything will be will be in place. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, we are looking forward to that. And also, we want to see more people coming in. Uh, in the meantime, officially send our congratulatory message to the Honorable. And also, uh, we are so glad that she has also won. And uh, she is back again in the house as a lawmaker. We thank God for that particular success. Uh, send our congratulatory message from the incredible uh, wealth coin, and officially I will uh, communicate. I'll do that. I'll do that. Later. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, yes. So uh, you, I sir. think you, uh, uh, so far, if there are no any other, uh, we've lost a lot of people because of the bad weather. Perhaps it is raining currently uh, in my region very heavily. 
that is why the connectivity is very poor. Uh, and so this is the much we can take for tonight. We will not proceed because of uh, uh, the weather. Uh, and also we would uh, like to address other issues in our next meeting because of the condition of the weather. Uh, and so those who are raising up your hands, you can drop your comments and I will attend to those comments because of the fluctuation of the connectivity we have a lot of people actually going out of the chat. And so the chat has dropped down to about 10 persons because of the weather. And so I would like to stop here. I will respond to some of uh, our criticisms maybe in our next meeting. Let us all go out and get all other users who are, who are holding IWC to migrate so that we all can begin to transact, begin to withdraw, begin to trade, and also begin to enjoy the dividends of our investments. And so on behalf of the Incredible World Coin and all other officials, coordinators, I would like to appreciate everyone. And I will wish us a very good evening and also a wonderful happy Easter. Let's do it again next week, Friday. Good night, everybody. And thank you so much for making our time to join us this evening. Good night.